Here's what social media has done to our social skills. You've seen this, right? Two colleagues out for a business lunch, and instead of speaking with each other, they're engrossed in their phones. And you know what's really sad? They're texting to each other. <laughs> I know, crazy, right? They could be making a Skype video call, and then they could see each other's faces in their screens. <laughs> Humor for your conference? Excellent idea. It will refresh your audience, leave them with a smile, and ready to tackle the rest of your agenda. Now here's how I ensure it will be a success. I create a customized presentation that connects with your conference topics and work experience of your audience. You get appropriate comic relief that's unique and engaging, either as a keynote or after dinner entertainment. We become so addicted now, so addicted with technology and our messages that we can't go for more than just a few minutes before we have to check our messages. Right? I mean, right now, you know, you can feel your hand is constantly twitching, isn't it? It's kind of reaching for, no, I can't do it. It's a present. Oh, I've got to check. Right? In fact, how many of you right now are on your phone? Let me see. Oh, I caught a couple of you by surprise. Scientists have shown that they can teach a rat to learn a maze in record time by rewarding it with checking its messages. <laughs> Social media is using technology to totally avoid live human interaction by posting messages online to mostly imaginary friends. <laughs> this could be a friend of a friend who once friended somebody on Friendster. You don't know who these people are. And not only do these people want to be your friend, they want you to like them. Everybody's begging you, please like us on Facebook, please. What's next? They're going to ask you to love them? You're supposed to love somebody you've never even met? Uh, you know, actually, we have that. Football players and imaginary girlfriends. So yeah, we're kind of there, aren't we? Let me ask you something. Do you feel like when you speak to somebody in person now that you're actually competing for attention with their phone? You know what happens? You start talking to them, and you have the direct eye contact. They're looking at you. And within a few minutes, you can start to notice they'll start making glances down at their phone down the phone, up to you, down the phone, up to you. And now the phone starts to become a real-time meter showing how much attention they're actually paying to you. Because the more the phone moves up, the less they're paying attention till it gets to the point they're holding it up. And then you just want to say, you know what? Why don't I hold your phone in front of my forehead so I can pretend you're looking at me? <laughs> Have you heard about or read about somebody's Twitter feed and they, somebody told you, oh, you got to check it out. It is so great. This person is so witty, so funny, so observant. You got to go check out their feed. So you go to Twitter, you put in the screen name, you know, sage words for this person, and up comes the first tweet. And you're looking at it going, what is that? Is that a tweet or is that the computer code for the Mars rover mission? <laughs> Could we just have a couple of plain sentences, please? Do you know about this new app now? This is very exciting. You speak the message into your phone, it transcribes it into a text message, sends it to the recipient's phone, and a voice synthesizer speaks the message. Isn't that incredible? Do you know that's almost like making a phone call? <laughs> How about online verification? Do you know what online verification is? You know, this is to make sure that you are a real, live human being before you sign up for any kind of online activity, an account, whatever it is. They want to make sure you're a real person. So it will come up and say, please type the letters that appear below. <laughs> what? And you're like, I, I have no idea. So you just you take a guess. You hope it might be, sorry, that was incorrect. Please try again. <laughs> And now you're starting to really get frustrated. So you, you try again, and it comes out and says, here's your final chance. Type the letters that appear in this image. Don't blow it. Well, I poked a lot of fun at technology. Yes, it does amazing things, as many of the people are telling you at this conference, and it's going to be great for your work. But sometimes it can be confusing. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Don't ever feel like the dummy. Always find the humor on it, and you will do well. Well, listen, thank you very, very much for having me at your conference. I hope you enjoyed some cyber satire. Thank you very much. Bob Hershaw!